Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, my name is Risa Maya Angyasopa. My ID number is 2021220019. I'm from class B. Here I want to explain about informative speech. All right, this is the list of materials. For the first materials is about definition and purpose of informative speech. Second material is it's the strategies or approaching for defining information are available to the informative speech speaker. And the same material, the ways a speaker helps the audience comprehend the message. Kinds of subject matter that can be addressed in an informative speech. And last, key points to keep in mind while creating an informative speech. All right, for the first material, is about defining and purpose for import of informative speech. What is the definition of informative speech? The informative speech is the way to teach, to inform, to educate, and transfer a message or speaker to an audience. And what is purpose of informative speech? The purpose of an informative speech is to share information that impressed audience understanding around a topic, uh, profits and alternative and raise awareness. And the second materials, the strategies or approaching for defining informative speech speaker. Right, for number one, make it simple. Do not make the presentation complicated. Make it simple and understandable. Number two, avoid unnecessary jargons. Avoid technical terms and jargons. Avoid idioms. Uh, use clear sentences. And number three, using clear and related image. Use visual aids to help uh, make the presentation speech memorable and informative. And four, for making it memorable. Use relevant and interesting way to keep the audience focused. The third material is about the ways a speaker helps the audience comprehend the message. Three strategies. There are three strategies you can do to get an audience attention while presentation. Number one, don't just stay in one position. Number two, make presentation uh, interactive. Number three, tell a complex story. There are four basic reasons to use presentation aids. Number one, they increase audience understanding of a speaker message. Number two, they help audience, uh, audiences retain and recall a speaker's message after the fact. Number three, they make a speech more interesting by adding variety. And last, by making a speaker's overall speech more polished, presentation aids can increase and Audience, audience, uh, audiences perceptions of the speaker's credibility, utilizing the device to enhance audience understanding. Uh, number one, visual aids such as graphs, handouts, slideshow, presentation, and and so on. Number two, a podium. Number three, a microphone, and last, a video screen. Video screen is a good way to make sure that audience can see entire presentation in a large frame. For the food material, mm -hmm. kinds of subject matter, matter that can be addressed in an informative speech. All right, one number one, speeches about object. This is convey information about uh, any non-human material things, uh, like a uh, plant, animal, for example, you can explain about the one university, Grand Canyon, and the others. Number two, speeches about people. Focus on real and fictional individuals who are living or dead. For example, you can explain about uh, the famous people like Joanne Kathleen Rowling, Chris Evans, Taylor Swift, and so on. Number three, speeches about concepts. This is uh, about speeches about uh, as they focus on ideas or notion that may be abstract. For example, you can explain about human rights, religions, freedom, or how gravity works. And 
Now, four speeches about events. Focus on as uh, occasions or uh, ongoing occurrences, like a particular day in history. For example, you can explain about World Cup and annual professional convention. Number five, speeches about process. This is about process provide a, a step-by-step -step account of a procedure or natural occurrence. For example, uh, about how to apply a scholarship, how to expand your business, and so on. And last, speeches about issues. Uh, provides uh, object, objective and balanced information about the disputed subject or matter of concern for society. For example, you can explain about impact of global warming or impact of politics on economy. Okay. Right, for the fifth materials is about key points to keep in mind while creating an interactive speech. Number one, choose the right topic. What I exactly mean is uh, there is a way to take a more general topic and narrow it down to more specific terms follow the path. And num number two, with a topic uh, you are passionate about, it's time to create a thesis statement. Number three, consider your crowd. This is uh, one sense, one uh, may seem like common sense, but it's more uh, just choosing the right topic. Number four, start your outline. Speaking outline includes keywords or paths and helps, your, helps you stay organized in, in, in front of the audience without reading to them. And last, end with the call to action. Uh, if your topic is interesting enough, it will naturally entire, entire, entire uh, the audience to want to learn more. All right, so the, the conclusion is in informative speech, uh, your goal as speaker is to provide your audience with information about topic they are unfamiliar with or to provide more information about the topic with which they are already familiar. All right, I think it's enough. Uh, I'm sorry uh, if there is a mistake. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.